Hi guys and welcome to the channel. This is Machine Dana and this is another video around about the Stream Labs Online modules, specifically the dual module. The dual module allows your users to dual their loyalty points between each other just to create some extra challenge and fun and, and silliness within your chat. A little bit more engagement for you as the streamer but also your viewers on your channel as well. I found that the modules from Streamlabs Online uh, can be really, really a good way to sort of help fill some of the gaps in chat or perhaps uh, just, just allow your users to have a little bit more of a different uh, experience on your channel. I've done quite a lot of these videos with regards to how to set up the modules and how to use and maximize Streamlabs Online. Uh, I use a lot of different tools and modules and my users so far seem to really, really appreciate and like the extra engagement of those modules. In this video, I'm going to go through the actual settings of the module for dueling. Uh, I'm going to go through how you actually uh, mod the cloud bot which enables it and also just how you make the most of that function and some cool ideas of how to use the dual function on your stream. I recently did some pretty cool stuff with it and, and my chat just absolutely loved the engagement that they got from that. You could see that they're all having a really, really good time. So if you enjoy this video, if you do find it useful, please do give a thumbs up. It helps the exposure of the channel and it certainly helps the exposure of this video, which will help other people find this particular video if they're struggling with the same things that you search for. Uh, and also if you do want to get more tips and tricks and more tutorial type content from me, particularly around about streaming and Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. I really appreciate appreciate it. I do stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine daily. So if you're curious as to how all of these modules work and interact on a stream, you're more than welcome to join me. You don't have to follow, but you can if you want. Just have a little look and have a little browse and see how my chat um, evolves and see how my chat engages with some of these modules as well on my stream. Without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So first, what you're going to have to do to set up the dual module uh, on CloudBot is to log into streamlabs.com and you'll have to set up an account. You can log in with your Twitch uh, credentials, so you don't need to set up new credentials for this. What you then need to do is turn this CloudBot toggle on, which is located on the CloudBot menu here. You can also search in the search bar for CloudBot as well, and it will navigate you to that. Make sure this is toggled on. Go to your chat on your own stream, be that Twitch, YouTube gaming, or Facebook gaming, it doesn't really matter. Type forward slash mod space Streamlabs on your chat, and that will allow Streamlabs to become a mod on your channel. And it just means that all these functions will work automatically and smoothly once you've configured them. We now click on the module section here, and we're concerned today for this video on the dual uh, mini game. Now what the dual mini game allows is anyone that's built up a uh, some loyalty points balance on your channel or your loyalty point system that you can configure, anyone that's done that is able to kind of risk an amount of loyalty points to a different user in a one-to-one -one duel. And that one-to-one -one duel, there'll be one winner and it's like a winner-takes-all scenario. So if I duel 100 and challenge another user to it, he then has to essentially accept what that duel would be if he wants to. He can decline it, he doesn't have to accept. Uh, and if he does accept, what it's like a basically a, a coin toss to see who wins uh, all of those loyalty points. Not all of the modules in Streamlabs Online uh, CloudBot function here use the loyalty point system, but quite a few of them do. So, and I have set up a video about setting up a loyalty points system and also setting up a loyalty points store. Very, very briefly, if you click on loyalty here, these are all your users, you can edit the points. But I can also go to settings, enable the loyalty point system in itself, name it, and just all the rewards for the loyalty point system as well. Here on the store, you can create new items, like sound rewards and things like that. So that just gives you a bit of an idea of how the loyalty point system itself works. You cannot have the dual module active unless you've got a loyalty point system set up. So if you're finding that dueling isn't working as a module, just check that you have got a loyalty point system set up and obviously make sure you customize that to your own channel needs. Then what we need to do on the dual system, again, make sure that CloudBot is uh, toggled, make sure we've modded Streamlabs, go into dueling. This also has to be toggled to be turned on. If this is not toggled to be turned on, this module will not work on your stream. Click into preferences and we'll just go through what these preferences are as well as some extra custom commands that you can use too. So these are the dual preferences. We have a minimum amount that, that someone has to duel. Maybe you don't want to have people dueling one loyalty point, one loyalty point, one loyalty point every time on your stream. So you might want to put just a minimum amount, which allows a little bit more sort of staggered out uh, periods of time before people dueling. And also maximum amount. I think there is a a cap on the maximum. If I just change that, if I, can I save settings? 
Oh, actually, I don't know if there is a cap on that. <laughs> I set my cap to 200,000, uh, but it's all obviously it's personal preference there. And that that is actually the settings, core settings for dual done. It, it, that will now work on my stream, but I just want to go through a couple of other extra settings that you can look at to further customize and improve that process. Now that we've got that uh, and it's dueled on, I can literally go into my stream. I can type as a user, as a viewer, or me as the streamer, if I have loyalty points on my own store, I can type exclamation point dual space username space points. What that will do is I will then basically dual space and then tag a user with who I want to duel with and then specify the amount of points that I want to risk of my own. They have to then agree to that amount. So that actually triggers the process to challenge someone. What we'll then do is click on the commands section here. Within the command section, you've got different things, variables, settings, and so on. There's custom commands that you can set up. I've done a separate video on that. Um, if you look at the default commands and we scroll down to the dual uh, section, which is just here. So the default commands for the dueling are all in this section here. Now within these commands, we've got a duel to actually trigger the duel. You've got an acceptance command to accept a duel. You can deny or decline the, the duel, and you can also cancel uh, the duel altogether. So it allows the viewer to cancel his initial duel request. And you can edit these. So just quickly to go through the command settings here, this little pencil button here. First of all, you've got the option to see, say whether you want the responses for this command to be in chat or, or in a whisper. So that's up to you. Most people do it in chat. I, I like to have mine in chat so everyone else can see it. Uh, and it also just encourages other people to use it as well. Permissions, you can set it so that only the streamer or moderators or subscribers or regulars can use it or any combination of, of the above. So if you wanted to just incentivize certain modules to be for certain types of people and so on, you could do that. Uh, so there's kind of the core settings. Uh, you, can, you can actually name the command here. So you might want to name it like, I don't know, challenge instead uh but it's up to you personal preference i'm going to leave it as dual because that's what most people know it as and then what you get the option to do here is to customize the response messages and this is where it can get quite playful i've not heavily customized mine just yet i probably will um but you're able to customize these with emotes and with you know funny messages and things like that now just to give a bit of a flavor for what these commands actually do these these respond messages so the win response in this example would tag the winner of the duel uh, and then that's some text that you can define. So uh, I could, if I wanted to type, uh, got lucky and won the duel versus, and then that tags the loser. And then there's an emote there. So that's a feels good man emote, but you can customize this with different emotes and so on. Um, and again, it's the same for win response points. So that's the actual uh, the number of points they get. Can not duel. Uh, so there's all kinds of different settings here. So yeah, overall, these are just different messages that you're able to tailor to help enhance the experience. You might have some inside jokes or some silly jokes that you want to add as part of these response messages. In the advanced section, we can put a global cooldown in seconds or a user cooldown in seconds. And we can also add, uh, add an alias. I'm just going to add an alias of dual with an a because some people sometimes get the spelling wrong so that will add another way of the users being able to do the same command in case they get the spelling wrong i'll just confirm that so what we've done there is we've set the dual command um permissions i'll just very quickly look at the accept deny and cancel commands these are a little bit more simple it's just the command itself to accept what that would be and again a different uh, alias for that to deny same again just a very straightforward deny, uh, but it, then there's a message as well. Uh, you might want to put something along the lines of, he didn't want to risk his loyalty points or something like that. He's not feeling lucky today and some silly emotes, whatever. And again, uh, some aliases for that. And finally, the cancel command. If you do a, a duel to someone and they don't accept within a period of time, you can just cancel it, which then allows you as a viewer to duel with someone else. We'll have a quick look at that. Again, we've got the message there, we've got the command itself and then aliases that we can add to that. Now, all that's left to do really is to actually test this. What I'm going to do is, as though I'm a user, I'm going to go into my own chat on my own channel, twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, if you want to have a little uh, look. Uh, so I just need to type the command dual. I'm going to spell it incorrectly, dual with an A, uh, just to show that the alias works for this that I just added. And then a space. I'm going to dual for, let's say, 50. No, with, with the user, I'm going to do it with my, my wife's account, so uh, Magical Gems, and then an amount 50. There's a response back from the CloudBot 
uh, function itself, the automatic bot, because I have modded that bot and I've configured it and switched on that module. It says Magical Gems, Machine Dana wants to duel you for 50 points. You can accept, deny uh, within two minutes. And again, you can customize this message using the settings that I showed you earlier. So that shows that I'm gonna now go on my wife's account, which is on her iPad. So I'll type exclamation point accept. So we can see in chat, she's accepted that. She's a VIP on my channel, of course, because she's my wife. As we can see here, I don't, for some reason it didn't happen the first time. I think it's because my chat offline was not registering my wife's account as actually being online. So I just refreshed it, uh, refreshed my uh, my wife's chat and, and then she was showing as being online. Uh, so if you, if you find that when you're testing it, if you're testing it offline, it doesn't quite work right. Just try refreshing it and that'll be fine, but it will work when, it's, uh, when you're online for sure. So I tried again to duel uh, my wife's account here for 100 points using for, um, exclamation point duel space magical gems space 100. What happened then that there was an automated message to say that I wanted to duel her and to tell my wife that she could accept or deny within two minutes. Um, Magical Gems then accepted within the two minutes there and it showed that I won the duel versus my wife and won the 100 points. So I actually got the, the winnings from that and uh, <laughs> I'll probably pay for that later. <laughs> so I've taken loyalty points from my wife and that'll probably make her less loyal to my channel. <laughs> I'll, ju I'll just, just for the sake of demonstration, I'll get my wife to, uh, to do the same in return. So I'm now challenging uh, from my wife's account back to myself. As you can see in chat, it's come up here. Uh, I'm, again, I'm using the, I'm testing out the alias here that I've put, which is the incorrect spelling. I'm going to accept it. Okay, I don't know why, but there does seem to be a bug with the aliases. Um, I can see from my settings just here on the default commands. So in commands default, I can see that the dual settings on the command to, to trigger it. Advanced. There is an alias that I've typed here. I've typed it with an A. Uh, rather than an E. It, I have clicked add that and, and it ha has added it there. Uh, I'll just reconfirm it anyway, uh, but this still has not worked. So I'll try it one more time now that I've reconfirmed it. I'm just going to refresh the chat to see what happens. My wife's account has just triggered me uh, a prompt to say, do I want to duel? I'm going to click accept on that. I could be any other user here. It doesn't have to be me as the streamer. It can be me or it can be my other chats between each other, which makes it the fun part. Uh, this time the the alias of uh, dual with an A, uh, which is obviously an incorrect spelling of it, that's that's worked this time. And I think this is a bug with Streamlabs. Sometimes you just need to do the settings twice. It's very rare, but sometimes you do need to add aliases and little things like that twice. So if you find that it doesn't work straight away, uh, just try removing it and re-adding it or, or confirming it twice, and that should work there. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys have fun with that. What, what I will say with this is, can I, you can actually have quite a lot of like extra engagement with this, not just from the, the basics of how it's run and all the extra customizations that you can do to it. But I once, um, around about three weeks ago now, I ran, when I hit 100 followers, uh, I decided to run a tournament to, to celebrate hitting 100 followers and I gave away a £25 Amazon gift voucher. I reserved 10 places for my existing followers and then six places for my uh, any new followers that came along for the giveaway stream. So that was a total of 16 people. In a tournament structure, I took 16 down to eight when they dueled, down to four, down to two, and then we had a final between the two people that got through to the final. And that works really, really well. It was very good fun. Um, and then I gave away the 25 pound Amazon gift voucher to the winner of that tournament. So you can do some really, really playful stuff with the dueling function. It doesn't have to be set it up and then forget about it. You can proactively use that to engage better with your audience. Once again, if you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up to help the video. Uh, if you want more information, if you want more tips, tools, tutorials, please give me a little subscribe and feel free to visit me on twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Take care. Cheerio.